Welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today, I will be talking about data table formatting. When you go to a feed survey, the way you document the data you have sampled or collected differs. And in most cases, you write them out in a survey notebook. When you return to the office or the lab, you then transfer the data into a Excel spreadsheet and make them ready for analysis. Different software accept specific data formats. And if the specific data format is not met, you may not be able to load the data into that software. Whereas in some software, you may be able to load the data into it, but will certainly not be able to perform the required analysis just because the data table format you have loaded did not meet the criterion for the statistical test. So in this video, I will be providing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to format data for use in XPSS using OneWay and Nova as a case study. My name is Tito Ken, and this is Tito Ken Max Solutions, a YouTube channel for improving the knowledge of how to do things. If you have been to my channel before, you are welcome. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and press the notification bell to always keep you posted whenever I publish new videos. Now, let's get started by taking a look at this raw data. Let's assume this is your set of raw data consisting of the monthly weight information of four species of fish in four different tanks. At this stage, your data is arranged in columns, where each column represents a group, such as tank A, tank B, tank C, and tank D, and each row contains the monthly observed weight values for the groups, documented for a period of 10 months. The objective of weighing these fishes at the end of every month is to determine if there are any significant differences among the species of fish after feeding them for a period of time using the same type of feeds and the same amount of feeds. This means the required analysis will be one way and over. But before you import this data into XPSS, you will need to reshape the data so that XPSS understands each value belongs to a specific group. So to structure this set of data table to meet the criterion for a one-way ANOVA is to reorganize this data into two columns. Basically, in SPSS, the one-way ANOVA requires data to be in a long format in only two columns. This means you will have one column for the independent variable, which is simply the nominal or grouping variable representing the group that each value belongs to, and another column that indicates the dependent variable which is simply the numerical values. Now, open another Excel file. Then let's use tank to represent the independent variable and weight in kilogram to represent the dependent variable. As you can see, we have designed a two-column structure of data. What you have to do now is to copy only the weight values of tank A and bring it to this new Excel spreadsheet and paste it under the column for weight. Then type capital A under the column for tank and put your cursor at the bottom right of the cell A until the cursor changes to a plus sign. Then press and hold down the left key in your mouse and drag it down to the last value of the weight. Like this, you would have letter A repeated for each value of the weight in tank A. And like this, you have designed or specified a group of fish species for tank A. Now, let's repeat the same procedure for tank B. As usual, copy only the weight values of tank B. And bring it to this new SS spreadsheet and paste it under the last weight value of tank A in the weight column. Then type capital B under the last letter A in the tank column and put your cursor at the bottom right of the cell B until the cursor changes to a plus sign. Then press and hold down the left key in your mouse and drag it down to the last value of the weight. Like this, you will have letter B repeated for each value of the weight in tank B, and like this, you will have specified a group of fish species for tank B. Similarly, copy only the weight values of tank C and bring it to this new SS spreadsheet and paste it under the last weight value of tank B. Then type capital C under the last letter B 
and put your cursor at the bottom right of the cell C until the cursor changes to a plus sign. Then press and hold down the left key in your mouse and drag it down to the last value of the weight. Like this, you will have letter C repeated for each value of the weight in tank C. And like this also, you have specified a group of fish species for tank C. Finally, copy only the weight values of tank D and paste it under the last weight value of tank C. Then type capital D under the last letter C and put your cursor at the bottom right of the set D until the cursor changes to a plus sign. Then press and hold down the left key in your mouse and drag it down to the last value of the weight. Like this, you will have letter D repeated for each value of the weight in tank D. And like this also, you have specified a group of fish species for tank D. If you have any questions, kindly leave it in the comment section of this video and I will try to respond to your query. As you can see in this format, we now have A, B, C, and D expanded in one column to the left as a group which indicates the category to which each observed weight value belongs. Y weight column to the right contains the actual weight measurements. This is how to format the data table suitable to perform one-way ANOVA in XPSS. Now, you can go ahead and save the data for use in XPSS. Like this, you are super set to go into XPSS, load the data and perform the analysis of variance or one-way ANOVA. Now, to successfully use this data to perform one-way ANOVA in XPSS, please see or watch my videos on 1. Introduction to XPSS Software for Beginners Part 1 to know how to load data into XPSS and how to define the properties. 2. Analysis of variance in XPSS, effect size and interpretations to know how to perform one-way ANOVA in XPSS. This is how to format data table for use in XPSS for the analysis of one-way ANOVA. And I hope you'll be able to replicate these procedures to format your own data and get it ready for the analysis. But right now, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video and you want to see more video contents like this, please like this video by giving it a thumbs up, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notification every time I publish new and useful content. Subscription is free. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. Thanks for your time and subscription. Thanks for liking this video and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye. Weights in every way Education, learning, every goal Tito Khan's here to make you whole The YouTube channel clear and true For how-tos, so much more to view